Quiet on the Western Front is actually the best-selling German language novel of all times. It's one of these books that is timeless. We realized that this book, one of the most important anti-war stories, was never made in its original language. To make a film from that perspective must feel different. And that's why I wanted to make it. I've tried to stay very true to the essence of the book, to the core of the book, to what the book says. As Germans, it's in our psyche. We've inherited that sense of shame and guilt and terror. These boys go into war singing and marching with enthusiasm, with a sense of heroism, a sense of adventure. And they slowly lose their identity, their will to live, their emotions, because they have to shut it away in order not to get hurt. Probably the title of the book and the script attracted many great talents. Every department went through the mill. You knew when you were out on the battlefield, the special effects team would have infinite explosions and smoke like you wouldn't believe. It's fantastic to see what is possible if so many great people work together and you can't believe what you're seeing. We shot around Prague and that's where we were able to build a massive field of trenches. Edward describes the scenes, how long those characters actually are moving. And we were there with a clock calculating the meters. I was amazed when I saw the trenches. I was, you know, blown away. <laughs> the most difficult scenes were the battle scenes because so many factors were involved. Hundreds of extras, many, many costumes, fog rain, snow, guns, tanks, fire, and these factors were incredibly hard to sort of plan. We're really incredibly lucky to have found these group of actors. Also a very tightly knit group of very different personalities and acting styles. I had a list of my favorite directors, and Eddie from now on is the number one. He's precise and his attention is always like, he's always there, he's always concentrated. The message is timeless. There's still wars. Mankind needs to be reminded constantly of the terrors of war. And one of the most horrifying stories is told in this book, magnificently written by Remarque.